Hi, this is Thundi from BorderWork.com and today we're doing the full review of the Motorola Photon 4G. The Photon 4G, um, let's go ahead and cover the hardware specs again, even though we've done that with the unboxing. But you can see the gorgeous uh, 4.3 inch QHD uh, touchscreen, which is covered by Gorilla Glass, right there. Um, it does have your touch sensitive buttons on the side. As you can see quite well, it's on a kickstand. Uh, which was made famous of course by the Evo series, but this actually has a kickstand on here So you can basically use it as a, a web top uh, Device as well as also a tabletop device it Does have an 8 megapixel camera in the rear with a dual LED flash it does have this soft uh, Plastic covering which actually gives it a very good grip at the top of the device You see the volume rockers here on the right side as well as the camera button which are actually ridged so it, it allows you to actually feel them properly and actually um, press them quite well. At the top of the device here you do have your power button and of course your 3.5 mm jack. Um, on the other side of the device you do have your uh, mini USB port and mini HDMI out. So that uh, covers the hardware um, spec ratio although you do have a um, front facing VGA camera here for the um, Motorola Photon 4G. Uh, as you can see, once you actually place it on the kickstand, you actually get this uh, selection that comes up. You can actually put up a wedge clock uh, widget or home screen that dismisses the home screen. So basically, you can basically just go back to the home screen itself. So let's go ahead, jump in, and uh, check out the full review of the Photon 4G. So we know the uh, Photon 4G is running um, Android 2.3.4 over uh, the latest version of Blur. It also comes with your uh, Sprint ID pack. So basically, um, from your home screen, you can actually select an ID pack, or you can actually get a new one. So for instance, I downloaded the Body Media ID pack, and basically you just select it, and it should install wallpapers, ringtones weather widgets, everything to match that ID pack that you selected. Um, Alright, so I do have my uh, Body Media ID pack and you can see it comes with specific widgets and uh, themes that match uh, the ID pack you selected since Body Media is well known for um, uh, health and fitness. So I do have, I can log into my Body Media account to the widget there. also have some weather stuff, uh, Body Media fan page to plug the blog and um, also some I believe for tips and more things like that so that's the whole ID pack there I can let me just switch back to my ID pack here quickly now it does take some time especially if you haven't installed the ID pack to actually switch over but if you can see that's a shorter period there um, you can also see that when you um, you do have uh, going into Moto Blur itself you do have the uh, sorry blur not Moto Blur um, you can see all the different um, app tree, uh, configurations where you can go to recent recent downloads and also of course your sprint apps there are a bunch of sprint apps installed here like your sprint music the mobile wallet nascar sprint radio sprint tv sprint zone and of course uh, sprint worldwide the device runs very very smooth uh thanks to the uh, dual core um tegra 2 one gigahertz processor on here and um everything flows really pretty well it also has a built-in task manager in here so if you're looking to actually manage all your devices which is pretty nice to have since uh, a stock Android doesn't have a built-in task manager which you can actually go in uh, select apps for auto and also just kill apps uh, that you deem unnecessary on your on your device um, let's go into the camera and see uh, camera functionality now with the camera itself, we do have our camera test um, review, which the camera records a 720p. Uh, let me just rotate this here for you. Uh, you can see uh, the camera settings. You can, of course, switch to the front-facing camera, which is the VGA camera. Um, of course, you can switch back. You can record and take stills with the VGA camera itself. Uh, going to the camera settings properly, uh, the picture resolution, Highest resolution recording 720p does do 480 DVD as well as VGA 640 by 480. Uh, you can also set it to widescreen, large, or medium for picture stills. Most of the pictures with this review are taken on widescreen. Um, of course, you can either store it internally to the phone storage or the SD card, uh, depending on whichever 
the one you're using. So definitely check out our uh, full camera test review. The camera itself uh, for recording works well. It works it records well at 720p. Um, but uh, taking steals, I would say the camera still averages something Motorola has not uh, been able to to get a hold of of getting uh, good quality pictures. Yeah, it takes good pictures, but doesn't take outstanding pictures, especially the fact that it is an eight megapixel camera uh, at the rear there. So definitely uh, check out our video test on that to see how the camera fares. Overall, um, the Photon 4G I think is uh, uh, the Sprint phone. Um, the uh, Evo 3D was supposed to be the main phone for Sprint, uh, which most Evo users and Sprint users are waiting for, and um, that didn't set the high benchmarks that the original Evo did. I think the the Photon 4G has reached that level. Uh, you can see just the design itself; it's very uh, slick, and um, you know, with the with the sort of cornered edges here. Uh, the kickstand is a big plus, which most Sprint users are familiar with. So of course you can you know, set it up as a web top, you know, dock, a clock, or actually you can just also watch your videos with it, which is something a lot of Sprint users loved with the original Evo, and that thus the, um, the Photon 4G has. Uh, battery life, battery life works very well. Again, Motorola has included uh, a power manager here in your settings, which is now basically uh, with every every Motorola device that has motor blur you do have uh, power settings where you can actually manage your battery which does a lot to actually save battery life so I've gotten probably a full day's uh, work with uh, the Photon 4G uh, because of the battery management mode and you can actually set it to different you know maximum power saver night time whichever ones you want and actually gives you a, a good amount of battery performance on the device so um, overall I, I say this is the main phone for a Sprint user if you're looking for a smartphone on the Sprint network I say the Photon 4G is the device for you uh, works well it's well designed again also does have the mini HDMI out which of course they do not provide cables for but uh, something you can still take advantage of and um, it, it's a solid device overall so uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments about the uh, Photon 4G, uh, don't forget to uh, let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. It's all Borderwork 2.0s. So this is Thunder from Borderwork saying thank you, and um, always enjoy entertainment.